We are now in the month of December and we have January right around the corner. We have 150 million pounds to spend. So get your suggestions in the comments. We have a massive month ahead of us. So many games in the Premier League and the last group stage game in the Champions League. And we possibly might see who we've got in the Champions League round of 16 if the draw is done in today's episode. But stuff in the Premier League isn't looking too good. We're eighth in the league. I didn't realize we we're this far down. I can't believe it! I can't believe it! We have a game in hand on Leeds. If we win, we'll go above them. But we want to start picking up some points as we're just going to get farther away from top four. If you guys are excited for the video, smash it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Turn the bell on so don't miss a future video. And the like goal! I've never set one this big, by the way. You guys are smashing it on these episodes. 300 likes. Yeah, 300 likes. If you guys can hit that, that would be incredible. Part of the episode for last episode, voted by the comments, goes to Cristiano Ronaldo. Despite losing to Manchester City and Chelsea, not having a great episode result-wise, but you guys recognize he had a decent episode, as he always does. He scores some good goals, but we're looking to actually play well in today's one. Pick up some three points. We have so many games to get through, and our very next game is against Arsenal, who are 10. Uh, so we're doing better than them, which is not really much of a flex, is it? LMJ said last episode, we need to play Alanga more. He does have a seasonal objective, which is to score five goals with him. Forfeit would be to release him. There is a lot of competition with the wingers. We've got Lang, we've got Antony, and we've got Sancho. But as a Lang is the only winger, that's wrong, second winger, because Sancho has a seasonal objective, to have a seasonal objective, we need to play him more. So in fact, he may start in the very, very next game. And Noko is saying, when you get a corner, Cross it near post and Ronaldo should do better and even score. So I need to remember to do that. Next time we get a corner, we will cross it near post and Ronaldo should score. And Jamie pointing out that it's frustrating that Ronaldo not wearing long sleeve shirts. Of course, Ronaldo always wears long sleeve shirts. And that is a good thing to point out. So we'll do it now. Long sleeve shirts. There we go. In the squad hub, it showed him with long sleeve shirts. But when you go to edit him, it's short. So I don't really know about that. But when it goes into game, he'll definitely have long sleeves now. With January right around the corner, we have some transfers to do. And in the summer, obviously, I go rid of all the players who are rumored to leave and we think should go like Maguire, Rashford, but players like Pogba who won't be staying and will be going. We just got rid of. And Cavani managed to not get on the list somehow. I, I forgot to get rid of him. So Cavani will be going in January. So we need a backup striker. And a lot of you guys suggesting Nunes from Benfica as a backup striker. He's good. He's around 77, 78 rated. Good potential. And if Cristiano somehow is just not banging them in, which I, I don't know how that's not possible. I think Nunes can come in and have his opportunity. Yeah, he's on the list. 22, 77 rated with cost between 25 and 37 million pounds. Can play on the left as well. So I'm guessing he's right footed. He's, he's fairly quick. That's good. He is right footed. There we go. Three star weak foot. And staying on transfers, a lot of you guys suggesting Rudiger as center back. Now I thought with the center back situation, we were fine. We've got Lindelof, we've got Varane, and we've got the new signing, Gavardio. Most of the transfer suggestions are center backs for some reason so i think we may go out and get a center back and rudiger would be a great signing irl would be amazing would play great next to varan he's english and uh, he's played in the premier league before i'm sure he's on here he is there we go ac milan he's 23 82 rated a four star weak foot and he's quick look at that 90 sprint speed 82 acceleration this guy looks good he's got great jumping at 83 how tall is it he's six one would be a great center back great suggestion there from the comments we're still yet to play with lacroix by the way i know it's like the guy in career mode but yet we're yet to sign him so maybe when we go to italy we will sign the frenchman and to finish the press conference off shout out to noah he's loving the series just like i am and i think we will be doing a second season at this rate because this career mode is doing really well and you guys are loving it now arsenal are one of them teams which in the past i have struggled 
against playing. We've got Spurs, we've got United when we play them, and we've got Arsenal. But this isn't a game for where we pull out one of them cards where we just struggle. Well, we, we can't be doing that. Is Cristiano still top goalscorer in the league? He is on 11 with Mick Callanter. Don't tell me they're still top of the league. Don't. They are! They're still top of the league with Leicester. You're having a laugh. Liverpool have played an extra game of them and they're still fine. And the team we select against Arsenal does have a change. What, what has happened to Sancho? <laughs> Where's Sancho gone? That's not Sancho. That was literally a complete different guy. There he is. I don't know what's happened to his picture. Please tell me he's here. He's there. What on earth was that picture in game? This is their starting 11. Tierney seems to be leaning to try and... I know the guy. Best thing since sliced bread. If you know, you know. Uh, but yeah, decent team from Arsenal. Saka Martinelli, who you guys pointed out. We could have we could have taken him in a swap deal. Uh, but that wasn't happening. Leno is getting the team rallied up. Early corner to Arsenal. Sliced bread. Going to whip it in. He has. That's an easy header away. Keep a deal with it. Easy stuff. Easy header in midfield there. Ronaldo. Now to Langa. Fake shot. Onto that right. Oh, he's done so well. Oh, I thought that was in. I thought that was buried in the top corner. What an opportunity. Oh, he just hit it. He put way too much power on that. Don't forget, this is a Man United bounce back result, by the way. We need. We lost to Chelsea in the last game at Stamford Bridge. And I'm sure we had all the tweets going, you know, we go again. We're going to bounce back. Granite Xhaka. Oh, I don't know what just went on there. There's a gap. Saka, good block for Ran. Now Tellez back out to Alanga. Oh, he's done well there. Is Cristiano coming forward? Oh, he's got a good bit of space to run into. That has to be 1-0. Ronaldo! There it is. Just before the break, Cristiano finds a bit of space. And it's 1-0. That is the weakness against this difficulty. We keep finding it. If you get the ball and run across them, you always find that a little bit of space. We need to use that more. Here comes Arsenal before half time. Oh, he's done well there, Saka. Oh, he's done well. Edge of the box. Build it up. Martinelli nearly a goal there from Arsenal. And that is the break. Saka, yes. Tellez, really good. 20 minutes to play, I just heard in commentary. So we might want to make a sub. Langa, Ronaldo on the ball. Hold it up. Hold it up. Look for that right. Is Ronaldo. Now true many. Here we go to win it. Love the keeper. Come on. Yes, get in. 2 0 United. 15 minutes to play. True many with the goal. Great bit of play by Ronaldo. And he's done so well there. Look at that for a chip. Weak foot chip. Just boom. Little ding. I mean, what is that? That is that is really lucky. That is some dodgy goalkeeping. That is extremely lucky. We're going to make two changes. Hey, Dara's going to come on. We've got Lindelof coming on. And we're going to bring on Malasia for Tellez. All players having a good game, but just some fresh legs. See out this win. We need to keep this clean sheet as well, by the way. Alanga's done really well there. One of throw. There's Alanga. Now Malasia out wide. We've got Ronaldo in the box. Malassia here. I'm just going to hit this with Malassia. It's 3-0. It's 3-0. I don't know how they let Malassia run through them like that. It happens all the time. We go win 3-0. And then we just go and do a typical United result. And go and lose to someone 1-0 and create no chances. But is this the changing game? Is this where it changes? Do we build consistency and a identity style of play from this game. Again, the keeping is dodgy. We need to up the sliders. Goalkeeping ability. Where on earth is it? Goalkeeper ability. 52. 54. Put that up. Don't know what that's all about. Oh no. Come on. Clean sheet. Laid on. Clean sheet. Gotta keep it. Gotta keep it. Gotta keep it. It's Arsenal in the butt. No! 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 You're kidding me! We've got a bleed and conceded to Arsenal. Look, he's running to Arteta. He's running to Arteta. He's loving it. I do not know who's just scored, but that is... That's competitive mode for you, that is. That is so bad. And that's that. I mean, we could get another goal. No, no. That's it. That's the win. So irritating, man. Now, we had to concede there at the end. But three points is the important thing. You do know if we don't complete that... 10 clean sheets. I'm drinking raw egg. Very nice game is Crystal Palace. They're 19th. Um, and we do have a few tired players. So we will rotate and simulate. Got a bit of rhyming going there. Hedara will start. Uh, Cristiano, yeah, we might as well. I mean, he's, he's so good. Sancho start. And Tony should be a win. A 3-2 win. Seriously. 19th in the league. Come on, guys. Sancho, Delo with the goal. And Cristiano Ronaldo. Edouard and Ayu. I just don't believe that. Does that say we have a player coming back from injury. Is that Luke Shaw? 
some of you guys may have forgotten. We have Luke Shaw and he will be gone in January. We will sell him. I've just decided there on the spot is going in January. We have Malassia and I love playing with Malassia and I love playing with Telus. Uh, so unless we give an opportunity to come back and make a comeback, put your suggestions in the comments. What do you think we should do? Let him come back because I really like Luke Shaw. I think he's a great player. But what we've got going here, Telus and Malassia, I personally think we should sell him. But let me know in the comments. Now, the last game in the group stage of the Champions Champions League. We're playing Atlanta. That, that's who it is. Italian side, Atlanta. Uh, opportunity, finish top of the group, as I said. We could possibly get an easier draw if we do. We're not going to play the game, though, because we're already qualified. We've got a lot of games to get through to get to January. We're going to start Cavani, Lang, Edara, get Fred started. I mean, wrong position. Yeah, so we're really rotating here. Uh, we sh still should win, though. It's still a really good side. And we lose 2-1. You're kidding me. You Hedara scoring in the second minute, who does well for us when he plays, but that is a poor result. Really bad. Villarreal get a draw, uh, so we qualify by two points in this group. Three wins, one draw, two losses. Uh, and the round of 16 may be drawn in today's episode. In fact, I just Googled it and it's December 13th, which should be a day after this game, which is Norwich. They're 15th in the league, which to be fair, they're doing quite well. Uh, but there's no real need to play 15th in the league. We're, we're now 7th in the league. Just going to simulate it. Just put out starting 11. A 2-1 loss. You're kidding me. King. Too many. And McLean, you're having a laugh. You're having a laugh. We lose to Norwich. Folks, what is happening to our season right now? What is happening to our season? We are five points off fourth place. We need to start winning games. We honestly need to start picking up points, else we're not going to finish in the top four. If we do a second season, that's going to be depressing. Europa League football. Again, 18th Brentford. I don't want to be playing 18th Brentford. Christian is still top goal. He's one off from Lukaku. He is all of a sudden come up the charts. Um, going to start Lindelof this game. Going to change it up. Not Maguire. No. He nearly had his opportunity then. Absolutely not. 5-1 win. There it is. That's more like it. And Tony, Brofenage, Ronaldo, Chris, uh, Brofenage, and Antony with a goal. Edison Cavani's contract is running out seven months left so someone in january could sign him up on pre-contract i don't want that so i'm gonna renew his contract for now just a one-year extension and then we'll add him to the transfer list he's happy with a one year that is absolutely fine should have had a release clause to be fair 100k a week 600k signing on bonus and uh, he says yes there we go so we'll add him to the transfer list now and then we'll get the offers in 20th in the league now I've, we're not going to be playing 20th we do have some big games up i i promise you we've got chelsea we've got newcastle we've got bloody burnley we're 20th in the league i know if we played we'd probably make um a bigger deal out of the game and make it a lot harder than it should be but normally if they're bottom half of the table we just simulate it come on we get a point we get a point to bottom of the league oh dear me sancho and fernandez with the goal that is terrible well, we've now got Chelsea in the quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup. We do have a seasonal objective, which is to win a trophy. Fourth, it would be to release one player in the starting 11 at random. So put them in a spinning wheel, whoever it lands on, release them. That could literally be Ronaldo, De Gea, Fernandez, whoever. And of course, we do not want that whatsoever. This is how we're lining up against Chelsea, Langa, Langa, Lindelof, and Malassia. They're the rotations because fitness. Honestly, there were a lot of tired players. There still are. Ronaldo slightly tired. I did notice Chelsea have a, a few players who are tired as well. So let's take advantage of that and find ourselves in a two-legged semi-final. Letting Lukaku just dribble toward us. He's found a pass there to Mason Mount. Trying to get it in behind. So far, Malassia has been good. Giving it to Kante. Handball, question mark. Good tackle, Guardia. Is a langer. Now Cristiano. Bruno Fernandes on the ball. Now out wide to Alanga. How's his touch? Oh, he's done well. He's done really well. In the box, Ronaldo. No, the clean contact wasn't there on the cross. Back in. Come on, Lang. Head of that, head of that out. We've kept possession. That's good. Is Bruno. Still Bruno. Still Bruno. Tackled. It's a really weird back hill there from Romelu Lukaku. Out wide again. Going to hit it. Good save, David De Gea. Here comes Wambasaka. Oh, straight through the gap. Here's Noah Lang. Could have crossed. Reese James put him out the picture. 
No alike. Boom. Oh, no. I thought that went in. I thought it went in house. He missed that. How on earth has he missed that? No alike. Still confused on how he just missed that. It's two Shamanic. Pass across. Cristiano on his left. He can hit one. Good save, Mendy. As he took a touch, it kind of opened up. I could have taken another. Oh, look at Pulis. He's just gone straight past us. Come on. Crucial tackle. Crucial tackle. Cavardi on. Get a foot in. Make some mount to hit one. Just past the post. Just past the post. Back a great tackle there. Really strong tackle. Bruno Fernandes. Out wide to Alanga. We need to stop going through Ronaldo in the middle. We need to start going out wide. Maybe overlap. Yes. Edge of the box or in the box. Lang. Oh, he's missed another one. A much harder opportunity there. But that would have been a great goal. Bruno can pick that up in midfield. Here's Giamene. Come on, overlap. We need to select the overlap instead of going through Ronaldo. I said it, I said it again. Back post, Bruno Fernandez. Go on, pass it in the box. Oh, to Shemi. Come on, Malassia. Oh, he's just gone straight around it. Really good defending there. Gavardio, strong. Great defending. Still Lukaku. Found a ball. Kante pulling it back. Gavardio again. So far, being man of the match. Making some great tackles. Megs. That is a great pass. Here's Bruno Fernandes. Looking for Truemeni. And wide to Alanga. Here's Alanga. Still Alanga. Just going to fake shot. And don't really know what I'm doing here. We just can't get anything going, can we? Passing us the ball there. Ronaldo. Doesn't even make it to him. Oh, another great tackle by Gavardio. What One goal. We can defend this and get a clean sheet. It takes one goal, right, for them or us to get to the semi-final. Great tackle, wan -Bissaka. We've defended well. Midfield, we've lost the battle. So they just keep bombing forward. Going forward, we've been useless and missed sitters. Yes. Will it be a replay if it's a draw? Will it be a replay? That's the question, mark. We do not want that. We just don't. Cristiano... Now, Bruno, out wide to Lang. Here's a good opportunity. Lang looking for Bruno. Yes! Germany! Get in! We're in the semi-final of the Carbo Cup. We beat Chelsea at the bridge 1-0. Look at that. Boom! Coming into the box, Pogba style. And finding the top corner. If he missed that, I'd have been fuming. Here's hand shut the top right-hand corner. Get in! Come on! And that's it. That is it. We're in the semi-final. What a way to win a game. And a David De Gea clean sheet. Liverpool beat Arsenal 4-3 on penalties. The West Ham, I mean. <laughs> or Leicester. That was a loss anyway. If we're facing West Ham or Leicester. Two teams having a great season. But the West Ham beat them 4-0. Manchester City, Luton. Come on, Luton Town. We have a Cavani transfer off by Athletic Club. It's a decent offer, to be fair. I mean, I'm going to ask for 19 million and see what they say. He's it's, it's got one year left. They say yes. Yeah, that's good. So if, the, if he accepts the wages, he's off the Athletic Club in La Liga. But back in the Premier League, we've got Newcastle United now, who are, who are 12th. Do you want to finish this episode off with officially stepping in to January? So we've got Burnley after this. So we'll probably simulate this. But December 13th was the draw for the Champions League. And I googled it. So has it been drawn? It has. Real Madrid. Great. Okay. We, we've got Real Madrid in the round of 16. Couldn't have we had Malmo FF? Whoever the F that is. Or Sporting. Who did Man City get? Bayern Munich. They don't even get an easy draw. Chelsea, Paris. Lille, Villarreal. Oh, that's interesting. Liverpool, Dortmund. Yeah, obviously, there's some big teams in the... I mean, round of 16 Champions League. What do you expect? Of course, there's going to be some big teams, some hard teams in this competition. Round of 16. I've got to get to the quarterfinal, but it's going to be tough to beat Real Madrid. Got a full strength side here against Newcastle. That is a strange formation. Going to simulate. Away from home. At the park. Come on. A 1-0 win. Clean sheet. No one lying with the goal. Get in. He did get an assist against Chelsea as well uh, and missed an absolute sitter. So I'm not, I'm not going to give it the big one about him. 
contract couldn't be agreed. That is so irritating. Maybe 100k is like too much to have him on. Someone else will come in for him. But as I said, we need overlap on at these players because we just go through Ronaldo on everything. We don't want to be doing that. Much needed three points here. Have to win this game. Wait, Sancho's face is back. Uh, we've dropped Bruno for this game. We're starting Heidara. You guys in the comments want to see him more. And I didn't really want to drop to Shemini. He may come on at like 50, 60 minutes, but I always enjoy playing with Heidara. Yeah, it's the trusty 4-4-2 for Burnley. Veghorst up front with Barnes. Apparently he's on form right now, Veghorst. So um, let's not be conceding goals to him. It's no Chris Wood though. Play Burnley and Chris Wood. Great tackle. Wambasaka keeping the ball in as well. In play. Here's the overlap. Wambasaka. Now Cristiano. Well, we still go through Ronaldo. Here's Antonio out wide. Now onto that left foot. Ronaldo. Now Herdara. Basuma. Ronaldo on the ball. Fake pass. Crossing it in. And no one's there, of course. Oh, good opportunity here for Burnley. Really good opportunity. Sliding. Yep, that's a... It's, it's a block. It's a block. Normally, they just go flying in the back of the net. Wadden Gavardio is he's, he's, he's doing well again. Good tackle. Germany. Now to Juan Basaka. Come on, Antonio. Make the run. Ronaldo. Now to Antonio in behind. What an opportunity this is. Surely it's 1-0. Antonio on his right. Boom. There we go. 27 minutes in. We have an opener. Had to score that. Beautiful goal on his weaker foot. It's 1-0. Great play by Ronaldo. Good assist. And uh, overall, just good good play there from the team. Great tackle there. Chermenic. Now here's Antone. He's, he's scored a good goal. So let's have a good game with him. He was £70 million. And some may say he's been a flop so far. He's making a good run here. A really good run. Antone. Oh, no, could have gone all the way. Good pass. Sancho on the ball. A lot of you guys saying the problem is you're trying to score too many goals with Ronaldo. It's just habit. You see Ronaldo, try and feed him the ball. That is Veghorst in behind. We should have the recovery pet. Yeah, cause how tall is this guy? Someone in the comments, let me know how tall he is. Great tackle, Gavardio. We have been picking up a few more clean sheets recently. So maybe this is going to be another game where we get a clean sheet in behind again. Here's Antonio on the ball. Has to be two on his right. Boom, there it is. A brace for him. A 70 million pound man has made it two for Manchester United with a great one-on-one -on -one goal. Once again, on his right foot. He may have a, a five-star weak foot. You never know. We might be able to try him on the left. He seems to be working on the right right now. But Sancho, just he is better on the right, isn't he? I'm going to make a sub. I'm going to bring on Bronfenach uh, for Chouameni. And uh, move Hedara to the right centre midfield position. Oh, here, here comes Burnley. Here they come. Oh, what a save to her. What a save. Veghorst did so well to turn there. Get that shot off. Corner whipped in. Easy header away. It's hit the bar. The rebound. Clean sheet gone down the shedder. Every time someone scores against us, they have to run to the bleeding manager. Right against the bar. And then easy head of the rebound. The game's not over. Burnley are in it. They're still in it. Got 23 minutes to play. Lennon, great tackle there. Barant. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's hit one. No! Oh! <laughs> wow. That was nearly 2-2. Two, two. Oh, what is that? What is that? Come on, keeper. How has this turned into a game which, you know, it's like getting close? Again. In behind, and Tony, he's done well. Can he get a hat trick? Pulling it back onto his left. He's done so well there, and Tony. He's done so well. Still, and Tony, flick that up for Bruno. Back to Antony. Oh, I've real messed that up, haven't I? Kept the ball. Sancho couldn't find the gap. Our passing's been awful, by the way. I, I'm like getting to the point where I really want to switch to player cam because Ronaldo's play. He's very striker-like. Just little stuff like this. He's found Antony for the hat trick. And he's going to mess that up. It's the win. It should be. There we go. It is the three points. 
But that second half was very, very bad. We had two shots that entire game, and both were a goal. So at the end of the episode, we find ourselves sixth place in the Premier League, 38 points, and three points away from fourth, which is now Leicester. Oh, look at West Ham. They're bottling it. Chelsea are top of the league. Liverpool are second. And Man City are moving up the table. They're just back. Well, no, they're not just behind us. They're still having a bad season. That's better. Three points. We were five, so it's dropped that by two. Ronaldo ha hasn't really scored in a while. Top goal scorer, Mikel Antonio, 17 in 20. Having good seasons, aren't they? Just to let you guys know, Luke Shaw is now back from injury. So, in the comments, do we keep him? Do we sell him? It is now officially January 1st, and we can go and buy someone. Harry Maguire, has he been sold? Harry Maguire has gone! He's gone! Maguire, slap it, is gone! We now have 177 million pounds to spend. And uh, you guys mentioned Tamori, so we could possibly go in for him. He'll probably be on the thumbnail for today's episode. If you guys have enjoyed, it, leave it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel turn the balance don't miss a future video who's your player for the episode let me know in the comments any other suggestions you know where to put them in the comment section thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video